Hey folks, thanks for tuning in to another episode of Second Sun Woodworks here on my YouTube channel. My name is Caleb and today I'm going to be showing you how I built this super simple metal base made out of plumber's pipe for the fourth episode of the series from Tree to Table. Stay tuned. If you haven't seen the first three parts of the From Tree to Table series, make sure to check those out. The first part, I mill up the slab. Second part, I inlay seven bow tie joints. And then the third part, I do an epoxy pour uh, for the coffee table uh, that will be on this base. I've built bases like this a number of times over the years. It is a pretty simple uh, uh, base to put together, partly because the materials are really easy to find. You can get these plumber pipe fittings and pipes at just about any hardware store, including Home Depot and Lowe's. And the nice thing is, is if you sand the metal down, you can paint it. And that's what I will be doing with this base. And this base was actually from a table that I built several years ago. Um, and I ended up taking the base off of that table and then adding this uh, extended uh, uh, nipple on the right side. You can see it's longer and, and the reason I did this is because it fits perfectly with the live edge table from the Tree to Table series. You can see here that I am using a wire brush attachment for my grinder to clean the metal up and then I'll be using some acetone to wipe down the metal to prep it for the black spray painting. I will advise you to wear some sort of protection gloves and a uh, apron like I'm wearing when you're using a uh, wire brush uh, attachment like this as the wires can come off and become like shrapnel and it's not very very nice to get that uh, those little pieces of wire um, thrown at you so be careful. Mm. Like I said before, the structure of these bases are really simple to put together and it's just essentially a combination of various sizes of black nipples uh, and the caps and the tees and then the floor flanges and the floor flanges are what attach to the underside of the base or the underside of the table uh, that you may be using this base on. And a secret bonus tip for all of you folks who might get to the shop and build a base like this with this black plumber's pipe use the three-quarter inch as opposed to the one inch the two inch or even the half inch um, the three-quarter inch just looks uh, far better in proportion to a tabletop so you can thank me later for that <laughs> To paint this base, I'll be using Rust-Oleum's uh, two times. It's like an ultra cover paint and primer spray paint. Uh, and I just spray this on, but I make sure to do multiple coats and really light coats because the paint has a tendency to drip if you uh, apply too much at once. So what I would recommend doing is spraying the paint on in a very light manner. Uh, just kind of covering it as best as you can uh, just with one pass let that paint dry then come back with a little bit of sandpaper light sandpaper lightly sand it uh, and then apply a, another coat and you will need to do this probably four to five times to get a really good base uh, on this metal uh, but once you do do it in this way the paint adheres to the metal pretty well and it will last uh, a long time all right folks if you haven't hit the subscribe button below you should do it right now hit the little bell icon next to it so that you stay notified when i release new project videos and if you have any questions or comments about this video leave them below let me know what you think of this process uh, and of this design Like I said earlier, it is important that you do at least three to five coats, maybe more depending upon the way that you actually spray the paint onto the metal and how much it drips. Um, but the more you do it, the better the base is gonna look in the end and the longer that the paint will uh, 
hold on to the metal. So just take the time to um, let each coat fully dry and sand between each coat and, um, and the results will just be a whole lot better than if you try to rush the painting process. Once the paint on the base had fully dried, I took the drop cloth uh, away and then spent a little bit of time making sure that the base itself was lined up and was flat uh, so that when I um, brought in the slab uh, to attach the base to the slab, uh, the base itself set, sat flat on the back side of the slab. I then used some wood screws and washers to attach the base to the slab. The nice thing about using this plumber's pipe is that all of the pieces simply screw together. And so if you mix up a piece or if you need to change a piece out, it's pretty simple to do so. And I actually do, did, did that with this base. It was a little bit too short, so I took out the uh, bottom four nipples and replaced them with uh, nipples that were just a bit longer to make the table just a bit taller. Alright folks, I hope that you have found this video to be useful. Uh, it's a bit shorter than most of my videos, but uh, thanks for watching till the end. Uh, if you haven't, hit the subscribe button, do so now. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below uh, and stick around for the reveal.